Hello students. In this video, we are going to start second lesson, Types of Software. Here, we will discuss about software, system software and its various types. Introduction Children, you are well aware that computer is an electronic device which can perform various tasks. It is made up of electronic components. Dear children, we know that components of computer are divided into two categories that is hardware and software. The electronic or physical components used in a computer are termed as hardware. Further, we need a set of programs that help in proper functioning of the physical or hardware components of a computer. The set of programs responsible for smooth running of a computer system is known as software. We know that hardware cannot work by itself. Hardware needs step-by-step -step instructions. Hardware are like army who need commanding officer. So, in computer, the software is a commanding officer. Software are set of instructions or programs which tells the computer what to do and how to do. What is software? A program that runs on the computer is called software. The games that you play and programs that you use to learn interesting things on computer are called software. Examples of software are Microsoft Office, Antivirus, Windows Media Player, Computer Games, etc. So, now we can define a software. A software is a set of programs provided to a computer for smooth running of its physical and hardware components. There are two types of software, system software and application software. Some examples of system software are Windows 10, Ubuntu, Linux, Mac OS X. Some examples of application software are Windows Media Player, PowerPoint, Notepad, Paint, etc. First, we will discuss about system software. It is a set of programs specially designed to control various activities of a computer system. Operating system is a part of system software which controls and manages working of all the hardware and software components of the computer system. Let us understand working of operating system with the help of motorbike. You have a bike with petrol but it does not run by itself until you do not ride it. So you are the operator or operating system of your bike. In the same way a computer without an operating system is just like a showpiece. The operating system writes the computer and make it work. There are different types of operating system available in market like Windows, Ubuntu, Linux, Mac OS X, etc. So, what is a system software? System software is a program specially designed to control various activities of a computer system. It establishes a link between hardware 
and the user's program. The best example of system software is operating system. Any computer system cannot work without operating system. For example, Windows XP, Linux, Windows 10, Windows 7, Mac OS, etc. Now, before discussing about some different types of system software, first let us understand the use of interpreter, compiler and translator. In order to communicate with some other person, we need a common language so that both of the person can understand each other. If one person speaks Hindi and the other speaks English, then both of them cannot understand each other's language. Then, how will they communicate with each other? They need an interpreter or translator who can interpret to both of them each other's language. Similarly, in case of computers, and their users, a computer understands machine language, whereas humans understand human language. Computer cannot understand human language and humans cannot understand machine language. Then, how do they communicate with each other? They need a translator or interpreter which converts human language into machine language and machine language into human language. Now, on the basis of the examples given, let us discuss about some other system softwares. First, compiler. It is a translator that converts user's program written in high-level language into a machine code that a computer can understand. Second, interpreter. Interpreter performs the same task as compiler. Only difference is that the compiler converts machine code of the whole program at a time, whereas interpreter converts machine code line by line. Third, assembler. An assembler is a translator that converts a program written in assembly language into machine code that a computer can understand. Fourth, loader. A system software that is used to transfer a program from secondary storage device to the primary memory of a computer. Fifth, text editor. A system software used to provide a platform where a program can be written or edited. On the basis of the topics discussed in this video, here two exercises are given for you. You are requested to write these exercises in your notebook. Exercise A. Fill in the blanks. First, machinery and physical components of computer called dash. Second, dash controls hardware components of computer. Third, software that takes care of various activities of a computer is known as dash. Fourth, a set of instructions given to a computer are called dash. Exercise B. First, how many types of software are there? Second, define system software. Third, write three examples of system software. Fourth, differentiate between an interpreter and compiler. That's all for this video. Thank you.